Well, Happy New Year, Divi Nation, and welcome to a brand new installment of our ongoing Divi Design Initiative, where each week we give away a brand new free Divi layout pack straight from our design team to you. This week we have for you a brand new flooring layout pack we think you'll enjoy, so let's go ahead and check it out. This handy new flooring layout pack contains layouts professionally designed and optimized for promoting all types of flooring products and services. You can use it to showcase all of your services in one place with the dedicated services layout page. And also you can highlight a particular service with all kinds of helpful details and beautiful images with the service page layout. And there's so much more. No doubt it will be very helpful for getting a new flooring website up and running in no time. All right, now join me in this next part of the video where I show you how you can use this new flooring layout pack on your own website. All right, so the first thing we will wanna do is make sure that we have access to all of those pre-made layouts from within the Divi Builder. And to do that, we wanna make sure and authenticate our Elegant Themes subscription, which you can do by going to Divi Theme Options and click the Updates tab there. Make sure and enter your username and API key and click Save Changes. After that, you should have access to all of our pre-made layouts without any problems. All right, now we're ready to begin the process of creating our pages for our website. And then we'll add each of those corresponding pre-made layouts to each of those pages. Let's get started by adding a new page. So go to Pages, Add New. Give the page a title and then make sure to click to use the Divi Builder. Select the option, choose a pre-made layout. From the load from library pop-up, go ahead and find the new flooring layout pack and select it. And you'll see a preview of all the different layouts included in the pack on the right. Go ahead and find the one that you want. We'll start with the home page and then click use this layout. And once the layout has been loaded to the page, don't forget to save or publish it. And then you'll wanna continue this same process to create all of the remaining pages needed for the website, and then add each of those corresponding pre-made layouts to those pages as well. And once all the pages have been created with those pre-made layouts, we're ready for the next step, which is to add a primary menu for your website. To do that, go over to Appearance, Menus, Go ahead and give the new menu a name and then click create menu. On the left, you'll see a list of all the pages that we've created. Go ahead and select all those and then add them to the menu. Under the menu structure area, you can organize the menu items however you like. And when you're ready, don't forget to set the display location to primary menu and then click save menu. Once the menu has been created, you're ready for the final step, which is to create a static homepage for your website. To do that, go over to Settings, Reading. Under your homepage displays, go ahead and select a static page, and then for the homepage, select the homepage with that homepage layout we've added, and then click Save Changes. And now your new website is up and running with the new flooring layout pack. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We sure do hope that you love the new layout pack. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our blog newsletter, our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook. And don't forget to click to get those notifications. That way, we can let you know every single time we have something new for you. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.